Okay, I went to Best Buy today and got a couple of things to work on my little laptop with. There's a cable to clone the original hard drive, and then here's the new SSD hard drive that I want to put all the stuff on. I got these for this one was about $44, and uh, this cable, which is supposed to include the software, was I believe $39. And that's plus tax on both of those items. Okay, instructions for cloning your hard drive. Connect the SATA connection to the cable. And then find the USB port on your computer that's a 3.0. I only have one 3.0 USB connection on this computer and it's over here on this side. Okay, now that the hard drive is plugged into the Easy Gigabyte Transfer Cable, and the cable is plugged into a 3.0 USB port, and it says on here it's backwards compatible with the 2.0 also, and it came with the software disc, CD, DVD, whichever it is. So what we've got to do is go into the file manager and find the DVD, and let's see what are we supposed to click on the easy gig program uh, let's double click on this On this screen, it's asking for me to select the hard drive, and it's not going to be a USB, so it's going to be this one, System NTFS. That's the file system that Windows uses. The destination drive. Okay. Um, PCIe card reader, no. So this is a SATA wire, yes. Okay, the hard drive is cloned, it's done, I've, get, I've got this dialog box it came up, congratulations your clone was successfully completed, let's, let's quit the program here, now uh, this is the new SATA hard drive that we just made. We don't want to look at it. There's its number. What we want to do now is we want to close this system down and go over to the other hard drive and boot into it and we should get this exact same operating system only now it'll be on a solid state hard drive. So let me shut my screen casting software here down and we'll head on over there. Here I'm pulling out a screw on this Toshiba. There's one screw in the front and then the cover snaps off. The hard drives unplug and then plug back in. It's pretty easy. You should look up the specs for your own computer for this operation on Google. Okay, when I boot it up into the new SSD hard drive, I boot it up and immediately got this screen. Now I'm running a microphone and I'm also using a 2.0 USB. It looks like all of my programs and my screen and it looks like everything's been cloned just fine but it wants me to restart the computer. And what I found out is the SSD has a driver that has to be installed so that's why we have to restart the computer. Okay once I restarted my computer Everything looks to be in good shape. It looks like all the apps work. I'm not.
not going to take a screenshot right now, but um, let's see if SketchUp will start up. It looks like that's going to start up normally. A new version will remind me later. Looks like the 3D works just fine. Uh, Inkscape takes a long time. Notepad doesn't take long to start up. Yeah. Everything appears to be just exactly the same way as it was when I left it. So that's how you install a solid state hard drive by cloning your original and you've lost nothing except for you pick up some speed at boot time. If you enjoyed this video please push the like button and don't forget to subscribe. See you later.